What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Glory in Paradise with Monaco. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this series, drop a like on the video down below. It does help the algorithm find our videos and the channel get more noticed and grow as well. All, if you like this help, believe it or not, it really does. And if you like what you see here and you're curious, hit the subscribe button down below as well. And check out links down below to my Twitch channel. We're live on Fridays, Saturdays, and Tuesdays. And the Chicken Channel, chicken, chicken channel down below as well, which has got non-football Let's Players on there. Couldn't let us part two on that one. So... Today we are on the page of FFP because I couldn't think of another skin to show really. And suddenly we've got a massive boost in our protected profit for the season. So we've got some money to spend if I want to. The problem is I don't know really where to spend it because every position I would I would buy players in, I've got young talent in there to um, develop. So I think maybe right back still is something I'm going to look at. Because I'm not, not really keen on Henriks at right back um, still. So yeah, we've got a 49.16 projected profit at the end of the season so that's great you factor the you factor in the you factor in the into the equation that um that is what it's like at the moment we may sell a player maybe at some point or the and the all and also the owners kind of top it up a little bit as well don't they if they need to um then we're, we're gonna be okay for another season so it's gonna be fine so today we're playing against marseille we've got the group stage draw to go through and the games off camera so first of all let's go to the games we've played off camera and update you how we've got on Beat Nice 4-0, and this was a fantastic start to the season. Um, one of the rare occasions this team actually went for the kill in the game early on and then was composed all the way through it. Um, goal from the pie, then, the, then Ben Yedda got one. An own goal, which is a bit unfortunate because it was, I think it was going anyway. Uh, from, I think it was a corner kick, um, or was it a free kick? One of the two. Um, and then it was bundled in. Then Osman got a penalty later on, came off the bench uh, to get a few minutes and scored a penalty. So 4-0, great start against Nice. And yeah, um, solid performance. Then beat Neem 3-1. Um, went behind early on to a goal and it was, I'm thinking there we go, this is going to be one of those awkward games again. But we got a penalty relatively quickly and Benga just scored it. Then Depay decided to turn up and just destroy them later on with a couple of goals to make it 3-1. Um, good result based on the fact we came from behind against the 4-4-2. So that was very good for me to see. And then Benga again off on the score sheet. Beat Bordeaux 2-0, and the game looks like a very comfortable game, but Bordeaux looked lively in this game throughout the whole thing. Again, again number 4-4-2. Um, and they looked lively. They had moments when they got forward, especially the wide players um, looked like they had a threat, and the and the striker up front who went off uh, went, went off went off um, in the 56th minute was really lively. I don't, 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 don't know why I took him off for. Um, two goals made of open play. Um, the second one was a brilliant finish. Drilled across the shot box by um, Torre, and then just drilled into the far far uh, corner by Benedetta. So, yeah, it looks like a comfortable game, but they look good, did Ben but did Bordeaux, but we just uh, managed just to control the game for most parts. So, the, the group, the group, the league is looking very good right now. We are currently second in the table, of course, we're a point behind PhD, but we've got a game in hand. Also, interestingly, if you look at the rules set, the top four now gets Champions League football in group stage. So that's fantastic. I think we'll definitely do that this season. I don't think we're going to be dropping out of top four. I think we'll win, win enough games to pull away from the guy. I think I reckon the top four is going to be us, Monaco, and I fancy Leon. And I think Leon, us, and PhD would have me in top three. I the fourth, I'm not quite sure about yet. But yeah, um, going very well. Hopefully, we can continue this. The group stage draw for the Champions League has been drawn as well. So we've got Man City, Sevilla and FC Copenhagen. So it's not a terrible group. It's not bad at all. Uh, I'm actually very happy with this group. Um, Man City obviously is going to be a tough one. They are trying to buy my, buy my players as well. The young, that youngster that I didn't show last episode. I'm going to show you it now. Um, and also the pie. So my theory is, my, my plan is, hopefully get results against Sevilla and Copenhagen and hope City to destroy everybody else. Um... Other than us, obviously. If they win their games against the other two, then that's fantastic. That's the one plus siren. Be, not being really the main team in the group, is the better team can hopefully get the results that you need. So if you drop a couple of points here and there, they win their matches. It's okay. Um, so yeah, they're after, they're after a player of mine. They keep making bids for him. Now I'm going to show you a contract I gave him. And I'll explain what happened in a second. So Noah um, is a player that we showed in the last youth intake. Now... They were interested in him when they could ask for a, a, a pre-contract. So I remember what happened with Unival in the IX series and I thought, right, I'm going to give him a stupid contract because they are not having him. Um, so he has got amazing potential. I think, he's gonna, I think he could be 
the long-term replacement in the team. I re- at 15 years old, I'm already considering playing him um, a little bit. But I think I'm going to wait a bit longer. I don't think he's quite ready yet. But the plan is to bring him into the team as soon as we possibly can. Um, but obviously, when, when it's right for him. He's two-footed. He can tackle. He's brilliant. He's got great heading as well. He's got five, he's, five point eight. he's a fantastic player. And I'm really excited to ha- have him in the team. Because you look at the contract, he's got a massive massive wage at that age the reason being is because if Man City came in for him they would have got him because the money they can offer and as far I've got to me I've got a I made the offer when as soon as I saw the interest in him in Man City on the wanted circle I was I pounced on that I said right here's a deal sign it now before they make a bid because the second they make a contract offer we're done so I made the, I made the contract offer first I made sure it was a really stupid contract um, just because of the fear of what happened last time with Unival. So, yeah, he's staying and we protected that investment. So, hope one well, investment, our player, our player. So, hopefully, he'll get in the first team and we could have a really good, really good player on our hands here. So, we're, saying, we're playing Marseille today in the only live conference episode because there's, there's not, many big games, not, many, not many big games around here. So, I'm going to do one game only. Um, also, I also I promise I do one game anyway. So team selection. So look at the lineup for today. Um, everyone looks pretty good in fitness. So I was going to make a few changes here. I don't think I need to really. So we'll go with that team and see how we get on, folks. So hopefully, another win today would be fantastic um, to start the season off in great style. They're, doing, they're playing a similar formation to last season, but you know, we've got a DM in there, Strootman. Um, I'm gonna just see how they do with their full, with their wingers and see if they actually their uh, fullbacks. Sorry, uh, pick up we left. Yeah, pick up we left off. Let's go, folks. Let's see if we can get another victory today. It's been a great start to the season. Like I said, we're still aiming to get top four. The title was a unexpected success success last, last season. Hopefully, though, it's a sign of more glory to come. Martin Cantona with um, Torvenen. Oh, oh no! Don't oh. That's, it's again. It's the poor reactions that that, that frustrate me. Really, it's the the little movement. We and we're. I want to see it again because I've. It's so poor. This again running at us and there's no one getting across to him. Gosh, look at that! It's not even. It's just run at us and a straight ball through the middle, and they run off our defender, and we don't get close to them. One 0 Marseille. Um, but yeah, we've seen that against against against. Um, Against PSG, that when the guys run us directly, we seem to struggle. I don't know how to shut down in training. Because Martin Spencer he cleared Samare, Mero, a wide here to Agula. Can he keep the, can he get the ball in the box here? In the box he goes, and it's a it's a it, it's a decent cross, but not amazing. Connor can give for Marseille. We're, still, we're we're not playing well today. Ball in the box, and it's two 0 Yeah, it's we 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 we've we, 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 we been second best for the whole match. Um, and we're just not got going there. It's two, two no Marseille. Yeah, I mean, there's still issue with this team. I think it's just, that's just poor. Just, again, it's just the reactions. No one is like, oh wait, I'll try and stop this. Very poor. Con- another, another corner kick could be three 0 here. This is the worst performance we've had for a long time. Bingeda, get support, guys. Samare. Again, there's no support for him to pass the ball to, and they, it's really, really poor. Throw in here. Aguilar. What is that? Bing Edda. Get some Martins in the penalty area. I don't know why he's shooting for that angle. He's never going to score. Samari. Again, that pass has gone out wide straight away. He's hesitated there. The pie. Bing Edda's in there. Samari. Oh, here we go again. Oh, here we go again. Direct running at us on a counter attack. It's a problem. I don't know what to do. It's definitely a problem. Half time, and it essentially is them sitting sitting deep and getting the bombs, running straight at us and winning and getting um, joy from it. Obviously, set piece as well was one of them. Well, but that's the common problem we're having. I've noticed in games where teams run at us, when, which I mean, they just get the bombs, dribble at us, and just get two the wingers just to just, just sprint, and it's not really intricate football. We just seem to just lose the ability to just like. Move there and stop them. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know why this is a thing. But it's definitely a problem. And we're struggling to even create anything in this game. 
Um, but it just shows up this team needs, needs work, and it is Marseille, so... Um, but yeah, when you run at us directly, we seem to struggle. Throw in. Tolvenin. What could Peter and Pelton tell you? 3-0. They've just, they've just caved. They've just caved. I don't know what's happened to them today, but they've just caved. So we're, we're, we're just... Again, look, it, it, it's not good football, this. It's simply get the ball and just... Get the ball and just look, run straight through us, look. And what is he doing? But actually, he just stands there. Well, we're going. We're, we're changing things massively because we got to try and something different here. So we're going to go two up front, um, and we're going. And we're going for it. We're going for it. Pressing forward. Yep, we're going for it because we need to just try and just create something. Because at the moment it's going to be an absolute thrashing. Free kick from Mister Pie, killing the far post. Awesome end, and it's it, it's one of those games <laughs> where nothing works. Samare. Bring Edison in the penalty area. Has a shot and it goes. Oh, it's a free kick anyway. Corner kick. Memphis to Pie. Kills it in. Cleared. Lindelof first time pass. To Pie in the box. And we've got one back. Um, oh, Osman, awesome I thought it was an own goal. Osman's got one back. It's 3 1. It didn't make a difference to the game, really. What happened here? I was. I swear it was. A, I thought it was an own goal. Ball comes in from the to Pie. Oh, he slide tackles it back in the net. Osman awesome gets a goal. 3 1. It's something. But um, it's probably not going to make a difference. Well, we've been, out, we've been outplayed. Not, out, actually not, not outplayed, just been outdone by a better team today. And I don't know what it is about this team, but when they get direct runners at them, they struggle. Um, and it looks like an even game, though, doesn't it? But they just had the, the, the great start and. We couldn't recover from that, really. We looked better when we went two up front, but I don't know if that's going to be a long-term thing we can really pull off. But it is something I don't know why. When it's direct running, it is a problem for us. It's a real problem for us. So, obviously, um, next episode, we're going to be doing the PSG game uh, because that's a massive match. Um, and we need to try and win that game. Then after that, I mean, we've got Man City after that then, but that's really close um, again. So I don't know whether we want to do... I, we probably will do that game because it's a big Champions League game, obviously, and we want to try and show those big games. But yeah, we need to we need to quit being scared of runners who like to dribble and directly run at our defence. And, and we'll look at training and see if that's something we can work on. Um, we've got 13 days, but it's great start season though. We're still in a good spot. Um, but it's just the way we lost that game was really, really pathetic and not acceptable. And But hopefully we can bounce back in the game against Montpellier, um, which is in 13 days' time, which is really bad. I hate when that happens, when you lose a game like that and you want to get a game straight away. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.